After learning the slope intercept form and the double intercept form of equations, uh, let's now learn the third standard type of the equation that is normal form or sometimes we say perpendicular form of the equation. Okay, so uh, here actually uh, we need to understand this first which type of it is. Let me show you in the figure. Suppose if we have this y axis and if we have this x axis and we have a line uh, something like this. Uh, let's say, let's say uh, I have a line this line and I am going to draw a, a perpendicular to this line to to this line from the origin okay let's see here okay let me let me first write all the stuff this is my x-axis this is my y-axis this is my origin all right and I have a line uh, let's say uh, this is line L1 all right and uh, from the origin I am drawing the perpendicular to the line L1 alright and let me say the perpendicular is drawn at point L okay and the same line L1 is cutting the x-axis at point A alright whose coordinate we can say uh, OA comma 0 and the same line L1 is cutting y-axis at point B whose coordinate is 0 comma let's say OB okay and now this is the scenario and this perpendicular is making uh, let's say alpha angle with a positive x-axis and the length of this perpendicular is given to be p all right and now in this case right see so in this case if we know a line to which we know the perpendicular we know the normal to that point we know the length of the normal to that point or we know the we know the length of the perpendicular drawn to that point and we know the angle made by that perpendicular then in that case what will be the equation of this line l1 right how to write the equation of this line l1 that we need to find out that is actually the normal form the equation of this line l1 you know this equation of this line l1 we're going to now later we're going to get x cos alpha plus y sine alpha equals to p here this uh, alpha is the angle made by the perpendicular to the positive x-axis and this p is the length of the perpendicular and x is, and y is the general point in the uh, in this in this line all right so let's derive it first before that i, I want to show you something here uh, if this is alpha then how much it will be it will be definitely 90 minus alpha because this complete length is 90 all right and this is perpendicular right so i can expect that this should be also perpendicular definitely now this is perpendicular and this only only this much length is 90 minus alpha so definitely this will be also alpha all right so this is alpha 90 minus alpha and then this is 90 okay now in the triangle see in the triangle uh, o l a okay o l a all right i'm talking about this triangle triangle o l a in this triangle uh, if you if you if you absorb properly cos alpha right cosine of alpha so what is cosine of alpha cos alpha is actually the ratio of the uh, base over the hypotenuse all right so base is our ol and our hypotenuse is here uh, oa okay so our cos alpha and this ol the length of the ol we have learned that is p all right so p and this is oa so what i can write now that oa is going to be p over cos alpha by doing so what i got the equation uh, the coordinate of the point a i i learned now the length of the oa is actually p over cos alpha comma zero now i got the coordinate of a now similarly let's focus on this b point so we are going to focus on the uh, on the on the triangle uh, b o l okay so in this triangle if you say again in triangle all right in triangle uh, b o l now if we consider this because we need the uh, we need to find out this length all right in the previous case if you see we were knowing this uh, base and we had to find out this hypotenuse so the relationship between the base and hypotenuse you know the relationship between base and the hypotenuse is the cause and now in this case if you see uh, in now present time if you see we have to find out this part all right and we are going to take this angle all right uh, so this is hypotenuse because this is the longest one and we know this one all right which is going to be opposite of the uh, angle so opposite of the angle is actually perpendicular now it's going to be perpendicular and this is our this is our 
hypotenuse. So relationship between the perpendicular and the hypotenuse, I hope you know that, that is sine, you know. So sine alpha is actually uh, the perpendicular over the hypotenuse, okay. So perpendicular is our OL over the hypotenuse, our hypotenuse is BO, all right, BO or you can say OB. So it's sine alpha and OL is actually uh, P over B, P over OB. So my OB, I can now write as a perpendicular over the sine alpha. So I got the, I got the uh, here, uh, the coordinate of B also, that is zero comma P over sine alpha. All right, and now the magic that we have learned the last time, the, the double intercept form of the equation, that was x over the x-intercept plus y over the y-intercept is equal with one. This equation we had learned. So here our x-intercept is this one, which is p cos alpha. All right, so what we can write now, x over p over cos alpha, and then plus y over y-intercept. Our y-intercept is this part, and the y-intercept we had recently find out is p sin alpha. So this length is p over sin alpha, all right, this length, and this length is p over cos alpha. So we know the x-intercept also and y-intercept also. So this is now going to be p over sin alpha equals to one. And let's solve this and we'll get the equation, okay? So this cos alpha will go up, similarly sin alpha will go up. So you'll get x cos alpha over the p and y sin alpha over the p equals to one. All right, and in next step what we can do, we can take this common together. So it will be, uh, I mean, LCM together. So x cos alpha plus y sin alpha uh, equals to p directly. So this is the required normal form of the equation. x cos alpha plus y sin alpha equals to p. Here, one, once again, let me tell you, this p is the length of the perpendicular and this uh, alpha is the angle made by that perpendicular. All right, and uh, it's in the figure, if you want to see, see. This was the length perpendicular and this was alpha was the angle made by perpendicular to the line, okay? Whose equation we are, we are writing? Whose equation? We, we, we find out this one. X cos alpha plus Y sin alpha equals to P. And the perpendicular is making angle alpha with the positive X axis direction measured in anticlockwise. All right. Based on this, uh, let, me, let me show you an uh, example, okay? Uh, suppose we have a line, uh, something like this, okay? And... Uh, we know the length of the perpendicular, suppose, the length of the perpendicular to that line, all right, this length of the perpendicular to that line, let's say two unit, all right, and we know the angle made by that. Let's say angle made by that is 45 degree. So what is the equation of this line now? So to find out the equation of this line, very simple, x cos alpha plus y sine alpha equals to p, all right. So now see here, what is x? x is the general point, so I can write here x, and cos alpha, alpha is how much here? 45 degree, all right? And again, y sine alpha, alpha is how much? Again, 45 degree. And the length of the perpendicular is how much? Two, so I'll write two. So x cos alpha, what is the value of cos alpha? It means cos 45, the value of cos 45 is one over root two, all right? So let me write here one over root two. And again, y and the value of sine 45 is also one over root two, and that's going to be two. So it's going to be x plus y over root two equals to two. So our equation is going to be x plus y equals to two root two. Finally, our equation of the line is x plus y minus two root two equals to zero is the required uh, equation of this, this line, this line, uh, let's say L1 or anything, whose, whose length of the perpendicular from the origin is two unit, and uh, the angle made by that perpendicular is 45 degree. All right, this is how we need to find out this concept problem. And a lot of, lot of question is going to come combining the all formulas, you know, con combining the all types of the equations. So uh, we're going to do one by one, don't worry, all right?